Hi everyone, it's Luke here, and this time from macOS Tahoe. As you can see, the installation went pretty well, so I can bring you a lot more tips and tutorials about the newest macOS system. But in this video, I want to tell you why now is the best time to install the public beta, and I'll guide you through the whole installation process. It's actually getting easier every year, so if you have previously tried any other beta, all you need to do now is to open the system settings and click on the system updates on the general tab. Here click on the info icon and you can activate the beta updates. But let's start from the beginning. If it's the first time you are getting into the beta software from Apple, then you will need to enroll your device. It's nothing complicated, but for that purpose, I will have to jump back to the previous system so I can show you the whole installation process. So here, I am back to macOS Sequoia, as the trees on the background suggest. Now go to Safari and open the beta Apple page. I will leave a link for this website in the description of this video. Here you will need to sign in with your Apple ID. You can just type your password or use Touch ID on your Mac. Here select macOS and scroll a bit down until you find link Enroll your Mac. So click on that and that will take you to another page. On this page you will find quite a lot of information, but I don't want to waste time with it now. I have already made one video dedicated to beta software from Apple, where I will share with you all the information, all the tips and things you should do before the installation. So if you haven't seen that video, I recommend you to pause this one and click on the pop-up banner on top and first watch the previous video. But now, once you are back, we can continue with the installation process. And as you can see, if you scroll a bit down, it is suggesting you to open system settings and continue from there, as I mentioned before. Just note that if you have a Mac running on macOS Ventura 13.3 or older, you will need to download a special installer to complete the upgrade. But if your Mac is still on such system there, it's high probability that it is not actually eligible to install macOS Tahoe anyway. So let's proceed with a standard installation. For that, I don't need Safari anymore, so let's move to another desktop and open the system settings. Again, go to software update and wait for it to check for new updates. In a moment, new option, beta updates should appear. So click on the info icon and here from the drop down menu, select macOS 26 Tahoe public beta. Now it will search for the updates again and soon it will offer you to download and install the newest macOS version. As you can see, this is already beta version 3. And all you need to do now is to click on the button Upgrade Now. And basically you are done, you don't need to do anything else. It has around 16GB, so it might take a while before it is downloaded, depending on your internet speed. But afterwards the installation process is quite fast. But now, while it's installing on the background, we have a little bit of time, so I can tell you why I think now it's the best time to actually install it. Well, thanks to that, you are getting an immediate access to all of the new features. You can get familiar with the system before everybody else. You can personalize the system even more than before and just enjoy the new design and all of the productivity features. I don't really see any point of waiting another month when it's released for everyone. But why now? These beta softwares are available for a long time already. Well, the reason is simple. I didn't want to get into any major issues, possible software incompatibilities, any battery problems or performance issues. All of these typical problems from early beta builds. But now most of these major bugs and instabilities have been addressed by Apple and through the developer's feedback. So now you can already enjoy quite stable and reliable experience. And I can confirm that from my own experience. I have a feeling that this system is even faster in this stage than it was the previous one at the final stage. And according to me, macOS Sequoia was one of the best updates of macOS in recent years. But now let's go back to the installation process. Here is basically the only step you can influence and that is to click on the button to restart now. 
but even that would have been done automatically. Now after a couple of restarts, you will turn on your Mac in new macOS Tahoe and you are all done. Hopefully your installation will be as smooth as it was for me. And you can enjoy all of the new features of macOS Tahoe. There are quite a lot of new things which I will talk about in the future videos. But I think the biggest thing you will notice straight away are these icons. I must say that I'm personally not the biggest fan of these icons, especially at this stage where many of them are still not adapted to a new liquid glass redesign. For example, the Final Cut, the VLC or even the Google Chrome still doesn't have the new icon. But I believe it will be smooth enough in the near future. Anyway, what do you think about the upgrade? You like it or not? You can share with me your opinions and your experience with the newest macOS Tahoe. In the meantime, I will work on some other tips and tutorials so we can explore the system even deeper. So if you don't want to miss any of these videos, click on the subscribe button and I will see you in the next video.